Hey, what is up heroes and welcome to Monster Hunter Rise. I am so excited for this playthrough. Massive shout out to Nintendo UK for providing me a copy of the game and the Switch, which we're going to unbox right now in this video after this intro. And i got to say, I'm so excited for this because Monster Hunter is a series that I do really love. Like my main introduction to Monster Hunter was with stories, which by the way was an amazing, amazing game. I love that game two bits. Easily one of my favorite playthroughs I've done on this channel, hands down. And number two comes out later this year, which we are 100% going to be playing on the channel, so look out for that. But Monster Hunter is a, a, a game where I kind of enjoy more watching people play because they're so much better than me at this game than actually playing it myself. I tried getting into World and I just sucked, but I thought I want to give this game another go, give this series a go, get into it more. And this one just looks more my alley because you get a cool dog companion and I was like, that looks so, so cute. And I just cannot wait to play this game because watching all the trailers, I look at it and think, that looks so, so fun. I just hope I can be good at it, so we'll see. So before we actually jump into the game, let's do this unboxing. Okay, so here we are at the unboxing, and I gotta say this looks absolutely beautiful. Again, big shout outs to Nintendo UK for sending me this bad boy. I really, really appreciate it. I was just like, oh my God, this is so cool. This is so, so cool. We also got a pro controller we can look at as well, which I'm actually quite excited about because I, I hear the pro controls are really good. I don't, oh, I had one, but um, let's just say I kind of broke it by accident. <laughs> Dropped it and it cracked, so I haven't been ever using it. But, oh, here is the switch, and the main thing with this is the back, and the back just looks so, so nice. I wish I had a bit of a design on the, um, the kickstand, but I looks so good. I wonder if it's like the Animal Crossing one where it actually feels, yeah, you can, you can feel it. Ah, oh, so nice. So nice. I've just got my fingerprints on the front of the screen, though. Is there anything underneath? I doubt there's a design underneath it, but there we go. Yeah, there's no design underneath. There's still, there should be one going across that still. But anyway, apart from that, that looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, let's put that to the side. So next up, we've got the Joy-Cons, which I quite like um, the Joy-Cons when they're very, like, minimalistic. It's got a little pattern on it. I really like that a lot. Like for me, like good collector's editions for like consoles either have to be so out there, so, so different, or they've got to be like quite minimalistic. And this is quite minimalistic, which I really like. Yeah, they look so, so nice. So good. Can't wait to use these because I've been using the uh, the plain uh, gray ones since um, I got my Switch back in 2017, I think. Man, that feels so long ago. Does not feel like the Switch is like over four years old. It really does not feel. Uh, I've got a code, which um, don't worry about that, that's for me. <laughs> and I've got the things to go onto the Joy-Cons. And we obviously got all the, the cables on the left, which you don't have to worry about. Is this any different? But this is, ooh, that is very nice. I feel like I want to use these, but I feel like I'm not going to use them because this Pro Controller looks so good. Anyway, before we get to the Pro Controller, we've got the dock. And the dock looks so, so good. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks beautiful. Just love like the gold on the, on the black. Anything on the back? Nope. My fingerprints show up so much on the back, like. <laughs> but dude, that is, that is gorgeous. Oh, I love that so much. Again, thank you, Nintendo. I really appreciate this so much. You have no idea. Absolutely no idea. It's so good. So good. Next, we have the Pro Controller, which, again, I cannot wait to actually start using. Because everyone says Pro Controller is the best. And whenever I, I tell, like, people I use the Joy-Cons, like, why not use a Pro Controller? It's like, well, uh, to be fair, I, I did for a little bit, and then it just it, it broke. So I stopped using it. <laughs> I have to get the cable to obviously charge it. And here is the controller. Ooh. Again, that's so, so nice. That feels so good. Can't wait to start using that, man. Feels really good. But that is the uh, the limited edition or collect edition of Monster Hunter Rise Switch and the Pro Controller, which just, it's so beautiful. I love, love the design. I think so far, all the collector's editions for Switches, I think my favorites are going to be Animal Crossing, definitely, then this, then 
the Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, and then the, the Smash one. The like, Smash one was quite, like, I, I didn't like the Joy-Cons. Like, I know I said, like, the minimalistic ones, but I thought that was a bit, you know, not as cool as, like, these ones. Like, just a bit more panks. So the Smash one was just, like, a the, the, the line. I think it could have been a little bit different. But the dock was nice. But, um, yeah. This is definitely, definitely up there. And I, I really appreciate Nintendo sending me this so much. But with that said, let's get into the playthrough. All right, jumping into the game now. We have to create our hunter. Right. Uh, obviously go over man, because we are, and... Huh. Right. What do we want to go with? Uh, this guy is kind of cool. Guessing, yeah, we can, like, change more uh, basic settings. Right. Age? Well, I am... Well, I'm 27, but my birthday is in a couple of days, actually. April 3rd. Not sure when this video is going to go live, but um, we'll put 28 because I'll, I'll be 28 when the majority are playing this game. Let's go with that. And hairstyle. Uh, can I change that with this? Oh, okay. So, uh, let's go with hairstyle. What have we got? Got 23 different hairstyles. Most like mine. I guess it would probably be that. Actually, it's more like that, actually. Right now, I need a haircut. I've been on lockdown for, like, four months now. <laughs> haven't, had, haven't had a haircut in, like, six, so my hair's getting quite long. Although, I do love that. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to go with this, because I just love that so much. So much more. And hair color. My hair color's actually, believe it or not. It's more, yeah, it's more like a dusk silver. Well, to be fair, my roots are super brown. <laughs> my roots are like, uh, I don't know, the best color. It's a little bit light. But yeah, mainly it's, 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 it's this color. All right, so, uh, so eyebrows. I feel like I'm going to spend a long time doing my character customization. So um, <laughs> uh, I think what I'll do is I'm going to mess around and I'll show you the end result because I'm going to be here for a long time otherwise. I want to make sure my character looks... Looks real good. Hey, okay, so I think I've done my character. I think he's looking pretty sweet. I love the expression. You can change the expressions. <laughs> They're angry, sad, happy. Hey, I'm not gonna put any makeup on. I, I was thinking about it, but like I don't know. I kind of like some of this, but not sure if I like it in the long run. But uh, we'll leave it like this. I think we'll look pretty good. So, oh, we look cloven as well. Ooh. I didn't realize there was more. Kind of liking that. I think, I wish I could mi mix and match. Because I think I like the top from this the most. And I kind of like those bottoms. But I also kind of like this. I'll go, I'll go with that. I think it suits me pretty well. <laughs> Give it that expression. It's just... <laughs> oh, we can change the color though. Ooh, okay. So I'm gonna go with. I can't change the blue. In that case, if I can change. Like, oh, okay. Oh, I don't know. I'm kind of liking that now. The white and red looks real good. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Got a voice. Uh, how do you preview voice? I think that's got to be more me, right? Uh, worry not. I'm here. I have arrived. Actually, there's so many voices. Hey, let's have some fun. Good to see you. Hey. Hi. Hello. Hey. Hey. You wanna go? Yo. I think I'll go two. This is great. Ready for anything. Yeah. That, that sounds good. Uh, you got all settings, which... Ooh. Okay. Yeah. We're good. Confirm hunter. Yes. Enter your name. Let's put our name in. Faultsy. There we go. Looking, looking pretty good. Yes. Oh, we get to customize this as well. Okay. Um. Again, I could probably be here all day. 
Oh, dude. This is going to be so cool. Okay, um, let me customize this and I'll show you the end result. Because, again, I'm going to be here <laughs> for a very long time. Okay, so I think I did my dog. I think it looks real good. <laughs> Try to make it look as much as like my dog as possible. Just because I love my dog. And I think this looks really cute. All right, let's confirm. Uh, yes. Into the name. And we are going to go with what my dog is called in real life. And that is Pearl. I probably could fit it. Sometimes it's called a pearly whirly. <laughs> but Pearl. That'll do. Yes. And I've got to create this as well. Okay. Um, hmm. Right. Again, I'll cut to when I uh, I get this done because I'm spending so long on the character customization. <laughs> I've been doing this for, for such a long time now. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so here's my uh, Palico. It might look a bit odd. I tried making Zero Aura as much as possible. I, I think I did. I think I did okay. Probably do a little bit better job, but I think it looks. I think, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, support type. I'm gonna keep as a healer because I feel like I'm gonna need all the heals I can get because I'm gonna suck and I'm gonna need all the help I can get. Although some of the stuff actually does look really cool. But what's that we heal? I think that'll be like the best. Let's confirm. And let's name you. Oh. I can spell it right. Zera. Aura. Alright. Yeah. It's okay. Looking good. Right. Nice. Oh, we look so good. Dear, looks like we've been caught in the act, Minoto. Quite disappointing, Hinoa. I really don't see how anyone could have noticed us. It was a perfect display of stealth. That's, That's why, why we expect, expect great things of you. you. You're always, always razor, razor sharp. sharp. Well then, I guess we still have a lot of training left to do. <sighs> what? You don't want us sneaking in? Oh, come on. This is Kimura. We're all practically family here. Besides, Elder Fugin is looking for you. So go get ready. Can't keep him waiting. Shall we go? Elder Fugin, we did like you asked. Oh, Hinoa, Minoto, thank you. 
I just got an important letter. It looks like we've got a rampage on our hands. Uh. So it's finally beginning. Hmm. It's been 50 years since the last calamity. But I remember like it was yesterday. A huge pack of monsters in a giant stampede. They attack the village in a frenzied rage. Nobody knows why this happens, but it came close to wiping out our village last time. I think it's time. We paid a visit to the stronghold. We have to protect the village. There's nothing to worry about, Elder Fugen. All of us, everyone in Kimura, we've all been training for this moment for our entire lives. Hmm. Inoa, we should start preparations right away. Hmm. <laughs> Now that's what I like to hear. <laughs> Okay, so now Voltsy, a rampage and all aside, I've got news for you. Okay, sweet. Got a message from the guild this morning. Is that you are now a certified hunter. Hey. You're really living now, squirt. Well, I guess I shouldn't call you that now you're certified. But don't think it will stop me. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, Elder Fujin. Hmm. I've informed the village of the uh, coming rampage, like you asked. Ah, yes, thank you. Congratulations. By the way, Volti, I overheard the good news. You're finally an official hunter. Wow, congratulations. <laughs> all you need to do now is register with the guild so you can start accepting all those quests. To do that, you need to speak with Master Hojo in the Gathering Hub. But that can wait. First, we go shopping. Hmm? You'll be needing the help of other villagers if you want to succeed out in the field. So, follow me. Now, where should we start? Ah, of course. Uh, the Marketeer of Mystery. Kajiro the Merchant. Okie dokie, so we can dash with R and then move like that. Uh, yes. Alright, so that's dash. I love the, uh, the music here. Very nice, and the, the little hub looks so great. It's really good. Okay, so let's go and uh, check out the shop. Oh, gotta hold it down. Greetings, Master Volti. I was just informed that you've been accepted into the guild. Yes, I have. So uh, here you will find restorative cures and other such items to aid you on your hunts. Often I diversify my stock and provide special offers for hunters too. I think you'll find them most agreeable. Uh, Kajiro sometimes offers items at half price, and that's when you can pick up some real bargains. I always hold off on buying what I want until the sale, and when it's on, I swoop in like a raffian on the trial. Okay. I have often uh, sensed Lady Hinoa's sharp gaze upon my back. Now I know why. Anyway, Kajiro, about those items I asked you to set aside for me. Of course, I'll have them packaged and sent to you at, a, at your convenience. Next. That's a wrap. Let's see. Where should we go next? Ooh. Uh, Steadfast of Steel, Master Hammer the Blacksmith. Alrighty. So use R to look around and the camera, uh, L to reset the camera. And if we hold down L, we've got shortcuts. So, how do I do greeting? Do I have to press a button? Oh. I have to set it, don't I? That's for multiplayer, maybe? But let's go and talk to you. Hey. Anyway, what is it? You can see I'm busy here, preparing for the rampage. Now, now, Master Helen, this time I've come to tell you the good news. Volti has been accepted into the Hunter's Guild. The village now has a resident hunter we can all count on. Isn't that great? Hmm, <laughs> I see. Well then, Voltsy, I want to congratulate you. The equipment we forge here is what makes a hunter in part, and can make or break a hunt. Yeah. It's what re represents our village too. A hunter who can't wield uh, Tatara steel isn't fit to fly the banner of Kimura. You'll find whatever you need here. As for crafting and refining gear, well, we can talk about that later. Oh, since we're here, that reminds me. You can hire buddies at the uh, Buddy Plaza up ahead. And Master Hammond's grandson, Lori, uh, manages the place. Why don't you go talk to him? Hmm. Keep running around with uh, felines and canines and make me wonder where I went wrong. Really? I think uh, buddy handling is quite a noble profession, personally. 
Anyway, Master Hammond, I was wondering if my order was ready yet. It is. One of my apprentices will deliver it to you later. Okay, just one more stop and we're done. Let's see. Yeah. Sweeter than sweet dango. It's got to be the uh, Yomagi the Chef's Tea Shop. Uh -huh. So the wire bug gauge is displayed at the bottom of the screen. Performing wire dashes or silk bind attacks will deplete this gauge. Uh, for more details, see wire bug actions in the game controls. Okie dokie. So I'll have to dash, ooh. Got courier, okay. And then, uh, I don't know what you do, but we'll go explore, explore the hub a little bit later on. We'll just do the tutorial bits first. I'll not overwhelm, my, overwhelm myself talking to everybody and forgetting things, but Bunny Dango? Wait, what? Ah, there you go. <laughs> oh, Voltsy. Hey, I heard the good news. You're a certified hunter now. Recognized by the guild and everything. Congrats. Before you head out on a hunt, make sure you stop by and eat some bunny dango. You never taste anything yummier in your life. And that'll get your juices flowing for a hunt. Uh, Yomogu, Yomogi's, Yomogi's bunny dango really are yummy. So yummy in fact I can't stop eating them on the job. Oh, just thinking about them. Gets me all excited and... <clears throat> uh, Yomogi, the usual? Please and thank you. Mm -hmm. Of course. One super duper mega dango order coming right up. Thanks. Folks had a great time on our shopping trip. Thanks for accompanying me. Mm. And the things I ordered from Master Hammond and Kajiro delivered into your item box. Surprise, it's just a little something from me to celebrate you becoming a hunter. Come back when you're done with your registration thingy, okay? Hmm? What about the bunny dango? Sorry, those are all mine. <laughs> yeah, but a girl's gonna eat. Oh man. Hey, you should equip a weapon already. I wanna see what you look like in full hunter get up. Great idea. How about you try on that long sword I just got you? Hey. That gear really suits you, Voltsy. Mm. Must feel a ton braver now, right? Ride that high over to the Gavrin Hub and get yourself registered as a hunter. Mm. Won't you talk to Master Hojo and get registered? Sure. You can start going out on real life hunts as a real life hunter of Kimura. Exciting. I have to wait here for my orders, so off you go. It'll be my usual spot. Come see me when you're done. Come on. Ooh, so looks pretty great. Where's the item box? There it is. So there's nothing in it, so we can't actually, um... Wait, press A in front of the Gavrin Hub to enter. Oh, okay. Which is here. He's got some long earlobes and some pointy ears, hasn't he? <laughs> well, hello there, Voltsy. You sure took forever to get here? I thought I was going to croak. You're probably well aware that I, Hojo, am the master guild of this exceptional gathering hub. What's that? Your guild registration? Oh, yes. Well, I was getting to it, to it, before you interrupted me. Had you let me finish, I would have told you uh, we no longer do things that way. Get with it, with it, young hunter. No tests to take on or papers to stamp, just my okay and you're on your way. And with that, you are now officially a hunter. Not just any hunter, no. A hunter of Kimura Village. Accept a quest from our dearest uh, Minato and go hunt some monsters. About that, as much as I'd like to, I'd have to get this report about the rampage ready for the guild. I'm terribly sorry, but could you talk to Hinoa first so she can explain quests to you? Yo, Ace. Yeah, that's it. that guy jumped down looks so cool with the mask and his gear looks so cool. Just overheard the gnarly news. Awesome. Gnarly, I haven't had that word in so long. Before you run off to see Hinoa, pop over here for a sec. Gotta check you out in your new threads. Hey, okay. Is that another item box? Uh, so you can store various hunting items and equipment in your item box and make sure your items are in order and your equipment is up to snuff before facing off against fearsome monsters. Right. So we do have quite a lot of things. Uh, so we've got this in our pouch and that's in our box. We have quite a lot, looks like. It's like little 30 potions and then 30 antidotes, uh, rations, raw meat. Leave it there for now. Yo, what's up? 
Looking good, Ace. Congrats on becoming a hunter. All that hard work finally paid off. I'm real happy for you. Oh, before I forget, I gotta tell you about the action bar. The action bar lets you pull off all sorts of actions without opening any menus. Pretty gnarly if you ask me. Let's try it out. Select the camera from the action bar and snap a picture of me. Won't you take my picture? Let me see it. So, pictures can be taken by using the camera from the action bar or custom uh, red eye or menu. Snap photos will be saved in both the album in the hunter's notes and the album on the home menu. Okie dokie. Uh, so, if pictures focus on a monster or endemic life are automatically classified in the album located in the hunter's notes. Press L while aiming with the camera, lets you switch between the two perspectives. Uh, the picture will be taken from your view, recommended for making the subject bigger or framing a more creative composition. You can have your pet Kahoot take pictures of you. Um, got a little bird as well, sweet. Right. So, select camera. Oh, go action bar. Oh, that's the bottom right, okay. So then we find the camera. Then go like that. Uh, let's get a nice picture of yeah. you. That'll do. And then a take picture. So then I show you the picture. And we good. Oh yeah, that's one handsome uh, devil hole. Huh, now that you've gotten acquainted with the action bar, I think it's quest time. If you're still not confident in your abilities, you can hit up the training area to sharpen them up. Which I'll definitely be doing. It's a short boat ride from the Buddy Plaza where Laurie and all his furry friends hang out. You can try your hand at all sorts of weapons and skills there. It's a great place to warm up before a big hunt. Alright, I'll quit holding you up. Hina was still waiting for you, isn't she? Right, so hunt it info in the start menu provides tutorials, hints, basic information and other valuable things. Information added as the game progresses will be displayed in the tutorial window and chat log. Right. The hunter info and hunter notes found in the start menu contain a variety of helpful information such as an instruction manual, outline and basic game information, characteristics of monsters, controls and weapon use. If you're looking for answers, be sure to look there. Look, like I'll be looking there a lot. Right, so now we've got to find you. It's not you, was it? Because I have to go talk to you. Now you're Minoto, so we need to go find... Uh, I guess sister? They're the twins, aren't they? She's not over here anymore, so she's gone somewhere. Hold A down to... Okay. Oh! Nice. Oh, is that her? Hey. And how do I get off? Just hold A again? No, press B. Okay. Oh, see. Already completed your hunter registration? Great. I retrieved your Kahoot from Elder Fujin earlier. It's so cute. You're going to love it. Kahoots like buddies will help you out during quests, but in their own little way. Wish we could have customized that as well. <laughs> Alright, so the village elder gave you a Kahoot to look after as a pet. If you call your Kahoot from your action bar, it will come on perch on your arm. If a symbol pops up with a while you have a Kahoot on your arm, push it, have your Kahoot take flight, maybe something will happen. Note this feature is unavailable in multiplayer. The pet menu can be opened while a Kahoot is perched on your arm. There you can swap out outfit oh you can do outfits and uh, if you feed your Kahoot they will greet you once you return from your quest. Uh, okay. Oh how about you give your new Fifery friend a name? So he's an owl isn't he? Got the perfect name. If I can spell it. Right. I am going to call you. Let me just uh, make sure I get this right. Yeah. So we're going to call you. If you know what it's from, you get 50 Volti points. Alright, so we're going to go. Kapora. Kapora. You know what that's from? You get 50 voltage points, like I said. Anyway, since my sister, yeah, sister, is swamped uh, at the moment, I'll go ahead and give you the quest rundown instead. Hmm. Now that you're a hunter, you'll be in charge of completing the quest that me and Minuto have in our quest, li quest lists. Some of these quests, called key quests, have been specifically posted by the Hunter's Guild. So if you make a point of completing key quests, the Hunter's Guild will take note. So I think key quests are like the, the main story quest. So for this playthrough, I'm mainly going to be focused on the, the main story bit, which I guess is just going to be like the calamity coming. Oh, one last thing. Here, take this uh, Petalace Minuto and I made. As you may be aware, Petalaces are protection charms woven from a local plant called a Sending spr Sprig. Uh -huh. Pollen carried by Spiri Birds will enhance your Petalace, strengthen your abilities, 
Due to care, well, pollen, I have hay fever. I mean, that's not gonna be good for me, but <laughs> pale lace is a type of charm bracelet made of, okay, read that, in Kamara Village. They are typically worn by hunters. Like any other piece of gear, you can only equip one at a time. Petalaces absorb the fragrant pollen from any spirit birds you encounter during a quest, granting you special status boosts. You can switch out your pale lace from the item box management, manage equipment option. Try different types to see which one best suits your style. Seek out spirit birds to maximize their effects. No, petalaces can also be switched out from the tent item box. Alrighty. Well, I think Minato should be wrapping up her report right about now. Mm. I need to get back to work. Uh, myself, once you're ready, you can start taking quests from either of us. Hold on, you can't go prancing off before my introduction. Faltzy, me yellow, and congrats on becoming a hunter. If you ever find yourself taking a hub quest, then I, Senri the Mailman, have quite the important info for you. You need to go through me to meet up with fellow hunters. Make sure to stop by. Hmm, well, I think about th that wraps everything up. Time to start monster hunting. So that's for like, um, multiplayer then? He said like, uh, it's about to hit up the gathering hub so you can get a hunting party together. Uh, you see when the rampage is near, it's forbidden to hunters to leave Kimura. Now so the hunters won't be able to enter either. In other words, Kimura is offline. So I guess we have to progress through the story a little bit to unlock online, which is fine. Right, so if you haven't already, better get your tailing gear so you go hunting with your friends. I love the music, man. The hot ball looks so nice, like I keep saying. So far, really liking this. Just need to get into it more. I think once I can get like used to the uh, the gameplay and everything, I think I'll really like it because I love watching people play this game. So I've been waiting for you, as you could uh, have guessed. All Gavron hub quests go through me. Please be aware these quests are meant for a party of hunters. Mm -hmm. Quests be rated at 1 star, 2 star and so on. Think of the number of stars as the level of difficulty. Oh. 1 to 3 quests are classified as low rank and 4 to 7 are classified as high rank. I'm sure that in no time you will be taking on high rank quests at least. This is what Hinoa says. Oh. Here at the hub your hunter rank or HR for short determines what quest you are able to accept. Yeah. Hunter rank of HR1 allows you to accept 1 star quests. Okay. As for increasing your rank, well, I'll get into that later. For now, concentrate on what's in front of you. Oh, and when you want to participate in a quest with other hunters, you can check out available quests and their details from the quest board. Once you've accepted a quest, head out to the quest gate to embark. I mentioned earlier that gathering hub quests are for a party of hunters, meaning for four hunters. However, if you're confident in your abilities, you may attempt them on your own as well. Feel free to use the prep area of the on the second floor. Preparation in, is half the battle, after all. That should be everything. Sh uh, should. I'll check with Hinoa later to see if I've got anything or anything. Any rate, you'll be starting with one star quests. Good luck. Hello. Right. Wait, uh, so talk to one of the twins near the village of Gavron Hubs to accept a quest. To join hub quests posted by other hunters, use the quest board. Once you've accepted a quest, you can either press R to accept quest or to cancel the current one. When accepting a hub quest, select accept via join request to allow hunters in other lobbies to join your quest while in progress. Uh, press set R after accepting a quest. Press A quest gate to depart. If you're hunting in a party with others, make sure everyone is prepped for the hunt before setting off. Right. As you complete quests from the village and gathering hub, the hunters guild will permit you to take on more and more quests. A quest difficulty is indicated by star icons. The more stars, the harder it is. Upon completing a certain number of key quests, there are, which are carefully selected by the hunters guild, you'll be eligible to take on very important urgent quests. Completing the urgent quest will like the next quest level. Okay, you'll find some villagers uh, have special requests or specific quests that they like you to complete for them. So do talk to anyone you see with a yellow speech bubble above their head. Anything they ask of you will be listed as a quest as the village or gathering hub quest counter. There are these are special quests in which you can learn hunting fundamentals and techniques such as the uh, wyvern riding. They can be accepted from the village quest counter anytime. Right, got optional quest, chit chat, and hub quest. Uh, expedition tour and level star. So talk to Hinoa, the quest menu for the village progress. Yes, well, you have a great time because your quest just came in for you. Okay. Master Utushi, Utsushi has called for you. Looks like it's time for some basic training. So pumped up about being a real instructor, he kept going on about being ready to fresh. <laughs> and it seems Elder Fujin may have had a hand in it as well. Luke was told to keep that part a secret. Hmm. I suspect there have been uh, 
breaking their brains, trying to think of a way to help you your hunting career. How sweet. Yep. I did Utushi's... Utushi's? Utushi's. I, I don't know how to pronounce that right, but request to the quest list. Set it whenever you're ready, but make sure you are ready first, okay? When you are, just head through the quest gate to begin, which is down there. Now let's dive into the quest list, okay? A special quest has been added. So back to basics. That sounds good. Don't forget to eat. Right. Let's go and do some basic questing. <laughs> and hope this will go well for us. Right, quest gate. Upon the quest, yes. Quest begin. Oh, yo Ace, what's up? Sit in my quest. Huh? Nice. Come over here and we'll get started. Welcome. Sounds good. Alright. Yo, what's up? If it isn't Congrats again on making Hunter a whole new life awaits. Hmm. I can see in your eyes that you're ready to fresh. Let's do a little quest refresher first, cool? Let's start with our camp here. This is your tent here. You can change your equipment and weapons or organize your items. If you want to bail on your current loadout, you're free to switch out your gear inside. Over there is the supply box. It's full of useful items that'll aid, your, aid you during a quest. Right. Everything in there is provided by the guild, so feel free to take and use whatever you want. Mm -hmm. That's it for the camp. Let's move on to the next part. Mm. I'll meet you down by the river past the ledge. If you get lost, just look for my icon on your map. Sounds good. Alright, so make sure your inventory is in order before leaving for a hunt, manage your items with the item box menu, change equipment and switch skills, access the buddy board and eat meals. On each hunt, you're provided with hunting items stored in the supply box. The supply box is located only at the main camp. Okie dokie. Uh, view the map in the bottom left to check the location of things in the area. Um, triangles indicate players' current locations. White tent symbols are camps, monster bodies, traps and, and placed items. As well as sever tails are displayed too. Quest objects are also denoted during special quests. Press L to zoom in on the map. Uh, you can view a detail map from the start menu. Press X on the detail map to open the icon list. Okay. So head to the destination. Should we... Oh, he's gone. <laughs> Grab some more supplies. Don't know if I should need these, but take them now. And... Hey, you can slide down. So by pressing A, you can harvest nearby plants, nuts, Nuts, bugs, mushroom, bones, honey, and spiderweb. Press an A near. Mine outcrops will also allow you to mine them. Okay. Oh. Crafting is the delicate art of fusing two items to make another. You can craft items from the start menu or from the item box in your house. You can also use the auto craft function to apply combined materials when you pick up the required items. Crafting list command lets you choose a recipe from your crafting list and then create the item. You can also configure the auto craft settings from the crafting list. How do I bring this crafting list up? Oh, here. Uh, why for a sub menu? You can auto craft settings. Oh, so it's going to auto craft for me. You can turn it on and off. Nice. That'll make life uh, pretty easy for me. Oh, hey. No fall damage. We've got to head over here. Oh, there you are. Up there. This dude looks so cool. I like this guy. If it isn't hey, up here. Display. All right, let's talk wire bugs. These bodacious bugs are a must in any hunt. Use them right and you'll be able to zip around to pretty much anywhere you want to go. Even on top of this boulder. Mm -hmm. Give it a shot. Uh, okay, so a variety of actions can be performed using the extraordinary creature that is the wire bug. Perform rapid aerial maneuvers with wire dash, whip out weapon specific gambits with silk bind or regain composure with wire fall. Uh, an exhausted wire bug gauge will recover over time and can be used again. The degree of consumption and time needed to recover vary uh, for every action. Capturing a wild wire bug will temporarily increase the gauge by one. Technique commonly used by Kimura hunters use wire bugs to zip through the air and quickly reach your target while holding ZL, which is that one. Press X to move vertically, A to move forward, and then ZR to move while you're aiming. Wire dash can be sequenced or can initiate wall running and facing a wall. 
Each weapon has its own unique silk bind action using a wire bug. These cannot be used with your weapon sheath to use it. Draw your weapon, hold ZL, ZL, sorry, Blade Master or R Gunner, then press X or A. Each weapon type has its own skills, so experiment is recommended. Okay. So we are going to X. Hey. Uh, the well traveled hunter's technique perform a wire dash while facing a wall to initiate a wall run. Use an L to maneuver during a wall run. Hold down R to continue running. You can also wall run while climbing IV. Hold R. Okay. Right. Hey, hero. hey, look at that. You're a natural. Next, let's talk bodies. Yeah. Today, I brought my Palico and Palamut Flash and Rumble with me. Hey, I like the names. Oh, it's got a little scar across his eye. Aww. Yeah. They'll be learning you a paw for this part of the training. Mm. First try Mountain Rumble, my pa Palamute. Palamuts, sorry, Palamuts are, are swift as the wind, so if a monster gives you the slip, hop on your barking buddy. Sure thing. All right, I'll be waiting for you up the uh, trail. Uh, meet me there. Okie dokie. When accompanied by a Palamut, uh, you'll have access to Let Me Ride command, allowing you for rapid transport of a locale. Hop on your Palamut and you'll arrive at your destination in no time. There are two ways to ride a Palamut. Hold down A while near a Palamut. Issue the Let Me Ride command from the action bar. Try it out. Uh, you can dash, you can attack, dismount, perform a jump, recovery items, whetstones, and some other uh, items can be used while riding a Palamut. When riding, select a usable item from the item bar and press Y to use it. Right. Give it a try. Listen up. And I can dash. You can attack. Alright. It's going pretty well. Can we pick up some items on the way? Oh, yeah, you an item? Got some dung. <laughs> Never know when you might need some dung. <laughs> hey, check out this yellow spirit bird. If you touch one, its pollen will enhance that good luck charm you're wearing. Your uh, petalace. When that happens, the scent of the pollen surrounds your petalace and boosts your stats. Since this little guy is yellow, it'll increase your stamina. Uh, spirit birds of other colors will boost other stats. Pretty gnarly, if you ask me. The effect is only active during the current quest, but you can be sure as shurikens that they are worth using. Oh, and there's a cloth fly over there. Mm -hmm. Cloth flies are one of many creatures you'll come across in the field. We, c we call these little guys endemic life. <laughs> the powder these floaty friends spread can boost your defense. There's lots of endemic life out there that can boost your hunts in different ways. Mm. Have a look around uh, for other endemic life, and they play around with them to see what kinds of effects they have. Okay, just a little bit more. Follow me. Okay, so first broadly to all small life forms, and have an area. Uh, let's see. These include permabus and hunting helpers, which can come in handy when used effectively. And some of these life forms are rather rare and potent, and are worth seeking out. All right. Nice. And then this one, right? Got defensible. Ooh, got some bones. Anything useful in here? Nice. And just grab everything we can on the way. Oh, okay. It's like a flashbang. Sweet. We good? Right on, Ace. Got the hang of riding palamuts already. They're super helpful, buddy, especially when you need to cover a lot of ground. And you can even tell them to attack while you're riding them. But their attacks won't be as strong as yours. So when you're ready to get down to business, it's best to dismount. Oh look, so we got ourselves some monsters nearby. Mm. How are your health and stamina looking? Be sure to keep tabs on your status while out on the field. When you're ready, let's head up this way. It's time to really get the show on the road. Alright. So the green bar is your health gauge. Run out of health and you're faint. When you faint, you'll be taken back to the main camp. The yellow bar is your stamina gauge, which drains when you perform various actions. Stamina refills naturally, but the length of your stamina gauge may shrink over time, consume food items or ration to replenish it. Coming in contact with a spirit bird during a quest will increase your maximum health and stamina. Okie dokie. Uh, I'll just about in a little bit. Just wanna... There you go. Ooh. Not like a pack of Zuchi. Alright, there's three of them. Go take them out for me. Don't hold back just because they're small now. They can be skillful and ruthless. Just remember your training and you'll be golden. Now ready your weapon, nice and steady, and take him down. One attack at a time. Right, I'll try. X or A. Attack, okay. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay, just gonna 
Did he miss? Nice. That one down? Hey. Nice, nice. Ah. Is that where to target? I don't think you can target, can you? Just gonna line it up better. Nice. I think the Palamut did most of the damage there, but sweet, awesome job there, Ace. I'll never forget to carve to harvest materials from monsters that can be up used for upgrades at the smithy. When you're done carving, come see me. How do we do that? Uh, why does sheath weapon A with weapon sheath? Okay. Nice. And then we've got another one over here. Personal, buddy. If we hold A, jump on you, and I'll be grabbing that. So just I like expected from my star pupil, that was an incredible hum. If there's something you think you could have done better, don't worry. After all, you're just getting started. Hey, thanks for the encouragement, because I feel like I can do a lot better. But now then, let's head back to camp, and uh, looks like we're kind of far away from it. But no big deal. Use fast travel, and you'll be back at the camp in no time. Gonna go ahead. See you there. Okay, just grab this first. That's kind of cool. Right. So, f uh, open map. Wait, what? Open map. Maybe we've got to jump off you first. Ah. Oh, what? Ah, you got to hold it. Okay, so you can't just press it. You got to hold it. There you go. And then main camp, fast travel. There we go. That does look kind of cool. Huh? Alright, let's talk to you. Congratulations, you completed the basic training quest. I'm now proud to send you out in the field into a full-fledged hunter. You learned well, but keep in mind, Elder Fujin and I expect much from you. Oh, don't expect much, please. If you feel like going over your basic training again, all you need to do is accept this quest from Hinoa. I'll be happy to guide you through it again. Hey! Piece of cake, kind of, kind of. So did the basic tutorial quest, and hopefully, hopefully we'll be all right. <laughs> I feel like when we have to hunt our first big monster, that is when I'm gonna suck so hard. I have to wait and see. Aww. Piece of cake. So quest complete. Ooh, so we're just, uh, okay, cool. So we've got some money. Uh, Kamora points. Kamora amulet. Okay. Bad, not bad. I guess we take our first official hunt next, and, um, let's, let's hope we do, let's hope we do good. That is... That's the plan. Well, Volti, I see Otushi's. Uh, uh, I think two. I don't know. Little quest was no match for you. I expect nothing less. Uh, what you learn today is very, very essence of hunting. Wherever the hunt takes you, those lessons will always hold true. Now, Hinoa uh, should have some one-star quests ready for you. Well, get to it and happy hunting. Some one-star quests, eh? Uh, yo. Right, so I know, I know, the basics are, well, basic, but you've got to have a study foundation before you can build, right? Take Bonnie Dango, for example. Yomogi puts in as much effort into selecting ingredients as she does preparing them. Uh -huh. hmm. Anyway, I know you're not here to talk about talk Dango. We need to talk quests. Lucky for you, I've got some one-star quests ready to go. You know, a question is kind of like climbing a mountain. Keep completing them, and before you know it, you'll be at the top. And just like a mountain, there's more than one way to the top. Pick the quests right for you and forge your own path. Sure. But you're gonna stay right here and listen to me blabber about Bunny Danger if you don't hurry up and pick a quest. <laughs> right, so training quests. Here's the quest list. So there's lots to do, which I'll probably do, you know, off screen just to learn a little bit better. But we got level quest. Uh, deliver eight fire lanterns, delete, deliver eight unique mushrooms, or slay eight jagras. 
I mean, this sounds more fun, this, the slaying one, so we'll do this. So we've got to do two village quests. Okay. Uh, so we can just depart. Nice. Just got to get a, uh, you know, into the basics, and then we can start taking on them bigger monsters when we're a bit more prepared. Not sure what kind of, like, weapon I want to start using as well. I think if I just experiment with all the weapons and then find the one I like best, and just kind of use that. But I'm assuming some monsters will be weaker to other weapons, so try and probably get good of all the weapons. Might be a good idea, but I think some of the enemies are just down here. Ooh. Hey, what's up, dude? Just gonna, uh... Yeah. It's all good, it's all good. Nice. Oh, you wanna fight as well? Just wait for it, wait for it. I thought he was gonna kinda of try and pounce on me then, but it's all good. Hey, so if I press Y to sheaf it, and then Nothing we carve the stuff. Nice. Love the weapon my, uh, well, that pearl's got. It's so cool. Mine now. Right, so there's more Run like the wind. over this way. I'll grab some plants and stuff on the way. Nice. Get this plant. Get some more dung. <laughs> well, you can quickly grab the stuff like while sprinting. That helps with like stats, doesn't it? And get some more of this. Does that actually give us anything such as like a flashbang? I feel like it's more just a flashbang, but... Oh, I missed. Hey, hey, where are you going? I feel like for another quest we needed some of these like mushrooms, didn't we? Sweet. We'll just grab them, maybe I can head it in with uh, having the stuff on hand at the hub. Ooh, okay. Did not go well. Nice. Hey! What? Wait. What are you attacking there for a second? Right, is, a, is that spirit bird up there? I, I think to get it was you had to do the wall running like this, if I do this right. If I go... Nice. Hey, we can go up and up. I just like climb it normally, I can. Probably shouldn't go up there because I feel like that's going to be pretty tough. Woo. All right, so let's just follow this path, take out the things we need to take out. Although, I feel like they've got to be up here. Ah, wait, no, don't jump off. Okay, it's fine, I'll go around a little bit. Be an easier path to climb up. There we go. Ooh, what's this? Snow beetle. So if I go... I need to pull a sword, then we do it, don't we? Oh, that's how you do it. Okay, but I've got to be close to him, so I need to get the... Uh, the wire... The bind him back. The wire box? And if I ooh, dodge that, and then we go... I think I need two bars for that. Where's the other one? Did you run away? Alright, let's put this away for a second. Ooh. I'm so used... Oh, you're throwing the... the way. Okay. I'm so used to, like, uh, Y being where the X is on the, the controller for the Switch. It's the annoying thing about, like, Xbox and Switch controllers. They just switch the X and the Y around. And the A and the B. Right. Let's try this again, shall we? So if we go... No? Do I need to get, like, get you on top of me to do it? Or do you need to go through it? 
I'm gonna try that again. I'll be taking this. All right, so there's got to be another one spawning down there because it just popped up again. Ooh, what's this? Nice, uh, crystal, and can we grab that? Yes, we can. Mega push, ah, there it is. Last one we need to beat. We'll, we'll take out, you know, the two. Come here, boy. All right, so I'm gonna try this again. Nope, that did that. I meant to press the other button, but it's fine. Ah, I'm not gonna put that away. Oh, charge, charge, charge. I feel like it definitely must be something. Just gotta get them in it. Cause I thought they would. Oh. Okie dokie. Turn the village in 60 seconds. Okay, so we've still got a bit of time. If I go. I feel like they gotta come to me. I feel like if they try jumping into me, then that's gonna. Do some attack and then get them. I feel that's that's what's gonna happen. Or it does nothing. <laughs> nothing personal, buddy. Right. Uh what's this? Oh. Before we get back to the village, let's quickly try and grab a few things, because we've got like yeah. Okay, uh, anything else I can grab? Last 10 seconds, I don't see anything else. But first quest done. I think we did alright. <laughs> Still getting used to everything, but. Good job, buddy. Hey. Alright, so definitely taking all. By level A, level increased, and is there aura increased as well? Sweet! I feel like what, what I'm going to have to probably do in this game is just to like, do the harder quests, I'm probably going to have to just like, um, <laughs> keep grinding and be like, super just like, buffed up just to take on like, so that's probably anyone could easily do. Alright, so do we need to do another one? Yeah, one quest remaining. So we've got hub quest and village quest. I'm not sure which one is the uh, the one we need to do really for um, like story progression. But we'll just do these two to start things off with, and then I can look into it more and do a bit more training. We will see. We will see. Just hope. This one will be a little bit interesting because obviously fetch stuff is never really that fun. But well, sometimes it is, but not as fun as slaying monsters. Right, so these can be played by delivering these specific items. Account items will be automatically delivered upon gathering them. Transport items need to be delivered to the supply box as they cannot fit into your pouch. Okay, if you approach the supply box while carrying transport items, you can deliver them by pressing A. Ooh, so something you have to like. Go all the way back. Can you maybe like fast travel with it? Run like the wind. Anyway, we've got a ways to go. Oh, should have grabbed that herb. That's fine. Right, so I think that tree which I started to climb, the jump down, the last quest. I think we want to probably go up there. Nice. Let's grab that. Just in case some bad stuff happens. Let's see. All right. Don't want to fight you, buddy. But if you want to fight, I'll kill you. So is this the thing we want to go to? Wait, what was that? Oh. We want to go up here. Run up with uh, the Paloma is so much better. Anything useful in here? Right, so there's some of the mushrooms. What have we got here? Junk What's pile? This? Ooh. 
Do I want to attack you? No, I don't want to attack you. I just pick you up. Let's see. There's a lot of cool stuff up here, actually. So we want to go... I think we stay up here. Let's grab what we can. Do not want to fall down. Oh, yeah, you guys definitely want to fight, aren't you? Oh, no! Oh, dude. Okay, can I still run up? Because that would be so helpful if I can. No, oh, I did not mean to do that, but... I meant to do try the, um, the attack. But yeah, it's got to be A, not X. We just go back up. It's not too bad. It could have been a lot worse. Could have been so much more worse. That's fine. It's fine. This time, I'm not gonna press the wrong button. Right. So come on. No, it doesn't like do anything. Come here. Oh. Nice. And then, oh, I thought you were dead. We good, we good? Yeah. Nope. So it's Y to shift, <laughs> but I'll just jump down. Oh, and so did Zero Aura. Okay, guys. Alright. So there's some more mushrooms. Oh, no. I guess not the right mushrooms. We need unique mushrooms. In here? Another two, so we need two more. So they've got to be around here somewhere. Maybe a little bit higher? No, it's plenty more. Let's see. And if we just follow this path around, it should take us to some more. Or not? I thought maybe it's a bit higher then. I feel like if I follow this round, it should take us to that one above the five. I hope. Definitely gonna grab the bugs. Hey, that's gotta be it, right? Surely. Last two. Anything useful in here? And quest done. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Let's try and grab as much as we can. I wonder if we have at the very top. Oh, that's looking kind of cool, man. Got a little like building. Sweet. Yoink. Uh, can I? Oh, never mind. Quest complete, hey! I'm doing all right. <laughs> right, take all, cool. sweet. Go another buddy level with both. Fantastic, all right, see what happens next that we've done the um, the two village quests we needed to do. <laughs> right, ah, Volti. Yumogi over in the tea shop has been looking for you. You seemed upset over something. Go and check on her, would you? Okay. I'm going to do that. Worst news ever. Oh, what's up? Volti, have you heard? Have you heard the terrible news? This is a real emergency. Ow. Ugh, I bit my tongue. <laughs> All right. The news. A great Izuchi is tearing up the shrine ruins. It's an absolute carnage. Okay, slight exa 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 uh, exaggeration, couldn't get the words out, but there's really a great Izuchi that's parked its stupid monster butt right on our main trade route. Please, you've got to get rid of it. If you don't, my supply of Dango ingredients won't get delivered. Please? Oh, thank you so much. I love you. Okay, okay. Hunting the great Izuchi is now an urgent quest that you can accept from Hinoa. Okay, uh, I'm looking at that right away because I need to um, probably just get a little better, do some training and stuff. Make sure we're prepared. 
But I hope you guys enjoyed this series. If you guys want the series to continue, make sure you smash that like button. Let me know you want to see more. And I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.